Hello, Weena. Hello, Yodel. Hello, Pat. Hello, Wabu. Nice of you to visit us. Yes, I was out for a walk, and I thought, I wonder what Teddy, Weena, Yodel, and Pat are up to. Yodel is practicing yodeling, and he's quite good at it. Yodel, 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 yodel. And Pat climbs up and down the trees. And you, Weena, what are you up to? Weena has a new book, and she's going to read to us later. Well, all I need to know now is what is Teddy doing? Teddy's visiting Grumpy. He think that Grumpy's only Grumpy because he lives all alone. And we've decided that every day one of us will go and visit him. And today's Teddy's turn. Does that mean that Grumpy wants to be alone with Teddy and I would disturb them if I were to visit him as well? Huh? No, I'm sure you won't, but don't say that. It's Teddy that you actually want to visit. Grumpy will be insulted and have another reason to be grumpy. Good. Then I'll go and visit Grumpy, and when I see Teddy, I'll say, <laughs> Nice to see you too, Teddy. This is a good idea, Wabu. Yeah. See you later, Rabu. I am the Rabu. Hopping here and there in woods that ever are so dear. Dumpy dumpy doo, I don't wear any shoes. Dumpy doopy da, you don't wear shoeby dooby doo. Hello, Dumpy. Hello, Wabu. You probably want to visit Teddy. Eh? I wanted to visit you, too. It's only nice that Teddy's here as well. I didn't think that anyone apart from myself was out visiting in this stormy weather. Oh, it's not that bad. What are you up to? I'm wondering how long my honey supply will last if the weather doesn't improve. And after counting Grumpy's honey jars, I've come to the conclusion that it can carry on storming for at least three more weeks. That's what you say. The sun's bound to shine tomorrow. Then you can go and get some more honey from the bees. That reminds me, when everyone talks about honey, I get hungry. I'm sorry that I can't give you any, Teddy, but I really don't think that my supply will last long for you. Well, they could visit me. Mo is bound to have something for us to eat. That's a good idea, Wabu. Let's go and visit them. Wait a minute, Teddy. Just so you don't think I'm impolite or stingy, let me lend you my umbrella. With wind like this, you never know whether or not it'll start raining. You wouldn't want to get wet, would you? Thanks, Grumpy. That's really nice of you. Teddy can say what he likes but I really don't think my honey will last very long. You don't look very happy today, Mi. Are we disturbing you? Mi is bored, and whenever she's bored, she sulks. I wouldn't be bored or sulky if I was allowed to go out and walking in the wind, but Mama won't let me. It's too dangerous a branch could break off in this wind and fall on me and injure her. But if Teddy and Wabu were to accompany me, then maybe I could go out walking? Yes. That way, if a branch fell on me, she wouldn't be alone and we could go for help. Please, Mama, we'll be very careful. Well, okay, if Teddy and Wabu look after you. Come back, me, and take your umbrella with you. With this wind, you never know whether or not it'll rain. Teddy, Wabu, wait for me. The umbrella hinders me when I hop. Maybe the umbrella won't disturb you so much if you open it. That's true. I also think it'll be better open. Mm. I can fly! Look, I'm really flying! Me, where 
heart are you off to? I don't know. The wind blows to the right, then to the left, but it's great fun. We believe that you're having fun, but really, don't you want to come back down to Earth again? Huh? And it's time to go home. Mo will be asking herself where me and Teddy and Wabu are. Dinner is waiting for them. Now that you mention it, I'm getting hungry too, but I don't know how to land. If you close the umbrella, it should be quite easy. But then I could land too fast and hurt myself. To wait for the wind to stop could take days and days, although it must stop sometime. What do you think, Teddy? Hmm, I'm just thinking that if I were to open my umbrella, I could fly to me and then bring her back down. Yeah, that's a good idea. It's sort of fun, but it's really unruly and windy. Are you coming down now? In a minute. I'm just thinking. Stop. Stop me. Where are you flying to? I oh, hope oh this doesn't look good at all. Look, Teddy, Mama. It's Mama. Hello, Mama. Where are you, me? Hello, Wabu. Where's me? I just heard her calling me. I'm up here. Did you hear that? She must be here somewhere. Yes, above you. <gasps> Don't be afraid. Teddy's with her. Bye-bye, Mama. We have to go now. This is so much fun. can take another little mouthful. Who knows? Maybe the sun will shine tomorrow, and then it would be a pity if I passed up my dessert today. Hmm. Don't eat so much, Grumpy. I see you. Huh? Otherwise, your honey stock really won't last. Ghosts. I'm hearing ghosts. How's that? Uh oh Grumpy, those aren't ghosts. That's me and Teddy. They're up there. Hello, Grumpy. That's my umbrella that Teddy's hanging from. It wasn't made for that. Sorry, Grumpy, but you'll get it back for sure. I don't believe that. By the way, it's just an umbrella, <laughs> and it won't matter to anyone if I get wet in the future without it. Will it? No, it's really time for you to come down. You've had enough fun. That's true, but I've still not found a solution on how we're going to land. I go and get Weena. She can read already. She's bound to know what to do. That's a good idea. Uh-oh, now it's gonna happen. It's... Happened. Hello, Babu. It sure has gotten stormy since we saw each other this morning. You're right. Very stormy, and Teddy and me can tell you all about it. What can Teddy and Mo tell us? The wind has caught them. How can the wind catch anybody? Me opened her umbrella and got swept up by the wind. And then Teddy wanted to do the same to save her. But Teddy didn't have an umbrella with him. Yes, he did. Grumpy didn't want to give Teddy any of his honey, so he lent him his umbrella instead. I get it. And when Teddy opened Grumpy's umbrella, the wind caught it and blew him away too, huh? Exactly. And now the wind won't let them go. Poor Teddy. He must be hungry. He is, and so is Mo. And where are they now? At Grumpy's. At least that's where they were when I left them. Then off we go to Grumpy. Hello, everyone. I thought the wind had caught you. Well, at first it was the wind, but now it's the tree that's caught us. Hmm. They're hanging pretty high. I bet they don't trust themselves to jump. And they shouldn't. If they jump, they're bound to hunch themselves. 
Then we must try to free them from up there. From up there? I don't have any umbrella anymore. The one that Teddy's hanging from was my only one. We don't need an umbrella, Grumpy Pat's a good climber. He can climb up the tree and free them. Naturally, I can climb that tree easily. I can climb too. If you'd asked me, I would not have said no. But then, nobody asked me, did they? The branch is too thin. If I crawl out along it, it will break and we'll all fall down. You have to come up with something else, Weena. I don't want to sound impatient, but my arms are quite stiff already. I'm sure I won't be able to lower them for a few days now. Would that be very bad? Because mine are also quite stiff. It wouldn't be so bad at all, except that I won't be able to eat on my own. I think I've got it. Let's get a blanket and stretch it out. Then Teddy and me only have to fall and we'll catch them. That's the solution. We need a good big blanket. Yeah. Now that I've lent Teddy my umbrella, which is probably going to get broken, I can go and fetch my blanket too and break that as well. I'm sure it won't get broken, and if it does, I'll sew it together again for you. Actually, my blanket is much too good to get broken, but I don't want to hear about it later. Did you hear that, Teddy? We can just let ourselves fall and we'll be caught. Yes, it doesn't sound bad, but a little dangerous. Here is my only blanket. Nothing is going to happen to your blanket, Grumpy. Me should jump first. She's not as heavy as Teddy. That's a good idea. Then I can see whether Me gets hurt or not. And if she does get hurt, then Weena can come up with something new. Jump, Me! You, you did that well. Bravo! I never thought my blanket would hold out. But the day's not over yet, is it? And now you, Teddy. And you really think that you can hold me? Of course, Teddy. You can't be that heavy. Come on, it's really easy. <laughs> I'm sorry, Teddy, that my blanket couldn't hold you. I knew it wouldn't work. Are you, are you hurt? No, I didn't hurt myself. It was a good blanket. Yeah, it was a good blanket. But now, it's broken, unfortunately. Are you still hungry, Teddy? Yeah, but just as I thought my arms are stiff. That doesn't matter. We'll just feed you until you're well again. May I be first to feed Teddy, please? If Teddy has nothing against it. No, I have nothing against it. Oh, Teddy, it's good to see that you can move your arms again. Yes, they're doing pretty well. Are you alone? Where's Weenan? Yodel and Pat. Winner and Yodel are visiting Grumpy, and Pat wanted to go for a walk. He said he had the feeling he was going to experience something special today. Uh, I had a similar feeling this morning, yes, as well. And then I thought that we could experience something special together. Good to see you, Wabu, because I've discovered something. Is it something special? Yes, something very special. I've discovered a great hole in the ground. But there was no hole there yesterday. Exactly. The hole must have been dug last night. But which of us would dig a hole in the middle of the night? Well, it wasn't me. I was, I was sleeping. Me too. And Teddy and Yodel and Weena too. It wasn't me or Mo either. Me is not allowed out at night, and Mo never goes out because otherwise she would leave me alone. I can't imagine that it could be Grumpy because Grumpy is a really lazy bear. We should ask him anyway, because if it wasn't Grumpy, then we have to think of who it could have been. Oh, you're a clever bear, Teddy. Let's go and visit Grumpy.
You must be more careful and look where you're hopping. But I can't look where I'm hopping when I'm looking at what's happening around me. But there isn't anything happening. Yes, there is. Pat, Teddy, and Wabu are coming. Hello, me and all. Hello, you three. Where are you off to? Pat discovered a big hole, and now we want to ask Grumpy if he dug it last night. But Grumpy's such a lazy bear. That's true, but we didn't dig the hole, and you probably didn't either. I would love to dig a hole at night, but Mama won't let me out after dark. That's what we thought. So that is just leaves us grumpy. Mama, may I go along? We'll go together. I wanted to see Grumpy anyway because I promised to repair his blanket. The one I dive bombed into? Yes, but there's not much damage. Well, that's good. Hello, Grumpy. He can't hear anything. Mm. Funny how Grumpy doesn't like it when Yodel yodels. I think it's funny. Yodel, would you please stop for a moment? Is it over? Yes, Grumpy, but it's not that bad. Yes, it is. But why have you all come to visit me? Did I forget my birthday or something? No, you didn't, but we'd like to know whether you dug a hole last night. Dug a hole? Me? I didn't dig any hole. What good is a hole in the ground anyway? Huh, I wouldn't do that. We don't know either. Yes, I think I know. That hole is probably a trap. A trap? But it could be something quite different. We should go there and take a look at it. But what if it's a trap? A bear trap at that. Or a raccoon trap. <laughs> or a kangaroo trap. We don't have to go too near to it. Well, if you all go, then I'll have to come along. Although, I thought Mo was going to mend my damaged blanket. That's what I want to do, Grumpy. Let the others go ahead and we'll come a little later. Agreed. But I want to go now. Mama, may I go? Okay. If you stay together, nothing can happen. Ahead. What's up ahead? The trap. But that's just a hole. It's a very big hole. The hole is the trap. Big enough for a small bear. Or a raccoon. And for a little kangaroo. <laughs> so what do we do now? We could pretend that we don't see the trap and just walk by it. That's a good idea. Let's look up in the air and pretend there's nothing there. Oh, great, because I'm not allowed to look up in the air when I hop. Well, you're allowed today. Oh, lovely weather today. Yes, the sun is shining brightly. Ow! What was that? It sounded as if Mo said, ow. Where is she then? She's not here. Then it must have been me. Maybe she fell in the trap. Then that is why she's calling for help. Maybe she's been tied up and gagged and can't call. Then we have to free her quickly. No, Mo is a big kangaroo and is bound to know what kangaroos do with traps. I'll fetch her. I'll come along, but hurry up. I'm sure Mo is terrified. We can go back home. Pat and Wabu are coming back already. Can't have been very much that hole. Hello, you two. Back already. Good. It's occurred to me today is the day that me must bathe. I don't think that me can bathe today. Why not? Where is she? The trap that I found is a baby kangaroo trap. A what? A baby kangaroo trap. And me fell into it. Wait, Mo. You don't know where the trap is. Must they always rush? Nobody ever is considering my feelings. That was fast. Where is me? There in the trap. And what do you intend to do, Mo? Go there and get her out. Ah, what if the trapper gets you, too? 
It's only a trap for little kangaroos. It's not big enough for me. That's true, but... Me? Me? Are you down there? Hello, Mama. Me, my little one, are you okay? But you're not even hurt. And you're not tied up and kicked either. And where's the trapper? Who? You know, the one who dug the trap. That's me. What? But you don't look like a trapper. And you're not at all dangerous. I'm not a trapper, and the hole is not a trap. It's my house. Your house? Your house? Mina had to change homes. They're building a road where I used to live, so I had to dig myself a new home. Hello, Grumpy. So, you've already freed me without my help. Oh, well, I should have known that you didn't need my help, and it's not worth much. Hmm. But we didn't need to free Mo. But we thought it was a trap. Turns out it was Mina's house. Huh? Mina's our new neighbor. And me fell into her house. It's a really dangerous house. Like, I, I mean, for example, I could be out walking and um, suddenly... Awa! <laughs> <laughs> Did you hurt yourself or badly? Yeah, but I'll be all right. Your house really seems to be a dangerous one. I'm terribly sorry. It's just I have to come up with something. Maybe we should put up a sign. One that says, no entry. Yes, why not? But it is a no entry. How can I have visitors when I have a no entry sign up? Hmm, how's that? I hardly have any visitors, even though I have no sign saying no entry on my house. Then we just write, this is my house. Mind the step. You're clever, Teddy. Bears, I hope I'm not disturbing you. No, Win is reading to us. You can listen as well. I'd love to, but I was just at Grumpy's, and he wants you to come and visit him. Why can't Grumpy visit us? He can't. His leg, you know, the one, I mean, that he's stuck in my house and is still hurting at him, yes. Yes, if that's the case, then we should go and visit him. <laughs> My leg, ow! Is it really that bad? I don't want to complain, but the fact is, it could be worse. Did you bring me any honey, by chance? Oh, no, I, uh, I, uh... So, it's not so bad, but it would have been nice to have friends in need, but, well, if that's just not the case, is it? With friends, yes. But we are still your friends, Grumpy, only we don't have any honey ourselves and have to get some first. No, no, I don't want to cause you any stress. I just thought that it would be nice if someone could bring me honey. Now that, I can't go to the bees with my leg the way it is, you know. I know something. What do you know, Teddy? I've thought of a surprise for Grumpy. A surprise? Yes, we'll all go away for a short time and then come back and surprise you. Don't worry, we're bound to come back. It'll be a great surprise, a jar of honey. Yes, that would be a surprise, but I don't believe it. No, I won't believe it. <laughs> come on, Teddy, tell us, what sort of surprise? I just thought that now that Grumpy can't go to the bees, the bees will have to come to Grumpy. But why should the bees come to Grumpy? Simply because we'll pick as many flowers as we can carry and transplant them in front of Grumpy's house. Ah, I understand. You mean that the bees will come to the flowers. Yes, and if we plant enough flowers, the bees will build their hive in front of Grumpy's house. And then Grumpy can collect his honey right in front of his own door. Then we have to tell Wabu, me, and Mo as well so that we really have enough flowers. Oh, 
Follow me. Do you want to come picking flowers? Oh, yes, I'd love picking flowers. Mama, may I? Why should me pick flowers? Because otherwise, the bees won't go to Grumpy, and they have to because Grumpy can't go to the bees. His leg still hurts badly. If that's so, then I'll help as well. Hello, Babu. Can you help us? Of course I can help you. What should I do? You should pick some flowers for Grumpy so that we can plant them in front of his house. What type of flowers should they be? Red, yellow, green, blue? It's best to get one of each color. Who knows which is the bee's favorite color? Come back. After all, who's interested whether an old bear like me has honey or not? Hmm? Who does? Hello, Grumpy. Surprise. Huh? Here's a surprise for you. Flowers? Well, they're lovely and very colorful. Uh, but I had actually hoped that you would bring me a jar of honey as a surprise. This is much better. After we've planted the flowers here, the bees will come to you instead of you having to go to them. Yes, and then you'll always have honey right outside your door. That's what Teddy and Meanie say. Hmm, not a bad idea. Maybe it'll work. I don't believe it, but who knows? It'll work. You'll see. <laughs> The bee has already landed on a flower. There's one on my flower, too. And on mine. Never knew that I had such good friends. Now that Grumpy has so much honey, I also have a wish. What do you wish for me? I wish that Wabu would tell us a story about the time before he came to live with us. Good idea. Yes, why not? I'd love to hear the Wooshel story. But that's such a sad story. But only a little sad, and it has a happy ending. Well, okay. Shoot, shoot, get up to you. I am there, I do. I've done me round the world tonight, and I never wear my shoe. Shoot, get up to you, we do. Shoot, shoot, get up to you, we do. Shoot, shoot, get up to you, we do. One day, Wabu watched as Wooshel, the squirrel, gathered nuts on the opposite bank of the stream. Hey, Wooshel, what are you so hectic about? Wabu, you're heaven sent. You have to think of something. Of course. What do you need? An aeroplane, a truck, a crane, a bottle train, a bulldozer. Well, can't you ever be serious? I have a real problem. How am I supposed to bring all the nuts home? My house is on the other side of the stream. And if I have to walk all the way to the bridge every time, it'll be winter before I can get my nuts home. Well, if that's all it is, I'll cut down a tree. Yeah, and you can use it as a bridge. I'll go and get an axe. I'll be right back, okay? Wabu hopped off happily. At Farmer Alfred's house, he looked around carefully. No one was to be seen. Quickly, he hopped into the barn. That is where Farmer Alfred kept his tools. But just as he was about to make off with the axe, he was discovered by the dogs who started barking. Stupid mongrels, just shut up. You'll wake Farmer Alfred from his midday nap. Don't tell me you've stolen something again, Babu. Alfred bought us to catch thieves, and we have. 
That was a good idea of Alfred's. One can't be too careful nowadays. Just lately, shortly after carnival, a whole box of sneezing powder was stolen from the general dealer's storeroom. I, 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 I imagine that. You don't say. Does the general dealer also have a dog now? No, but I helped him to build a trap for thieves, yeah. A trap for thieves sounds good. We could do that, too. Sure, it's quite easy. You just have to dig a trench behind the barn door, then fill it with water. Then when anyone breaks in, they fall in the water and you've got them. Sounds simple. Let's do it. <laughs> Wabu hopped off, giggling with the axe. <laughs> the squirrel was waiting for Wabu by the stream. There you are, Fatty! I was afraid you'd forgotten me! Rabbit, when I make a promise, I keep it. But Farmer Alfred's dogs were bored, so I gave them something to keep them busy. So, okay, now let's start. Swabu swung the axe. Oh, oh, stop it! Stop it, it boss! Hey, this is fun! Wabu! Ernest! Ernest! Wow, it works! Look, Wushu, this is the best bridge ever built. Oh, 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 what have you done? Our nest was in the tree, and now our egg is in the nest. Now our nest is gone, and our egg is surely broken. And in only a few days, our chick would have hatched. Child murderer, child murderer. Child murderer, child The birds wailed so loudly that all the animals came running. Come to this one day. Yeah. Child murderer! Just calm down. A nest like that is soft and pliable, and maybe the egg didn't fall out. Come on, everyone, help us look. Everyone began to sniff and to search. Even the bear, who was convinced that it was all in vain, growlingly helped them look all over. You see, all the excitement was for nothing. But it's empty! <gasps> no, it's broken! But we broke our egg! Wabu took the cracked egg in his hand, and as he sadly looked at it... It's hatching! Look, everyone, it's just being born. All the animals watched, the birth of the little bird in amazement. The birds could hardly contain themselves for joy. Isn't it sweet? It's arrived a little too early, but as far as I can see, it's fit and well. Is everything there? I mean, nothing missing or, huh? No, Wabu, it's all perfectly in order. Hi, 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 hi. hi. You're, You're gonna become, become a midwife. midwife. You just need it one more time, Wabu. Hey, where did you get them? They belong to Wushu. Rubbish, they don't belong to Wushu. They were laying around here. But Wushu collected them. Hey, Wushu, the bear is stealing your nuts. Not true. Hey, why doesn't Wushu come? It was because of him that I cut down the tree in the first place. I'm, 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 I'm here under the tree. Wushu's easily scared, and he, he probably ran away as he, as he heard, heard the tree was falling. Oh, this calls for a special Wabu Wushu search action. <laughs> if it doesn't come now, then I just don't know. All the animals came running excitedly. Oh, 
Someone has been attacked and robbed. I knew it would happen one day. An accident? Is anyone hurt? Even the owl, who always slept during the day, came. Everyone came, except for Vushal. Couldn't have been loud enough. Bushel tried to move a branch, but the pain that shot through him was so bad that everything went black. Bushel passed out because of the pain. Now, Bushel must have heard that. It's really strange that he doesn't come. We, we think, think we, we found, found something. something! That is tail hair. Bushel's tail hair. Mine is another color. Where was it? Over, Over there! there. Yes, yes, there! By the stream? They found the hare by the stream? Oh, dear. But Whistle can't even swim. That's it. I've known all along Wabu is a danger to us all. But I just wanted to help Whistle, that's all. Help you and help ridiculous just listen to you. And what do you do? Huh? You don't help Whistle either. You stand around here and pick on me. I'm going to look for Whistle. Have a fun. Has Wizard showed up? No, not yet. But we'll continue to look. By the way, you could help as well and bring your shovel along. I suppose I'll have to. Now, where did I put my shovel? Must have left it in one of my passages. The mole slipped into his hole and ran down the passages. Fearfully, the mole crept nearer. Wusha, Wusha! Oh dear, I think Wusha is dead. The animals at the tree bridge had decided to search the upper bank of the stream when mole came creeping out of the branches. You don't need to search any further. Wusha is lying down there, under mm. the tree. He must have fallen into the opening that I had dug. And then the tree fell on the opening. I think he's dead. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I found him and I stroked him, but without any sign of life from him. I have him. Here he is. Look here. He said something. Wishu said something. Yay! <gasps> he said, ow. He's only sleeping. Look. Wishu, hey Wishu, are you feeling better, old friend? Leave him alone, Wabu. Can't you see that Wushal is badly hurt? Someone must bandage him up and nurse him. I will. No, you, you must, must be crazy. crazy. You don't you dare touch him. What he needs now is a lot of rest. I don't want any visitors before morning. And as difficult as it was for all the animals, no one dared contradict Hermina, including Wabu. <laughs> The next morning, Wabu was the first there to visit Wushal, who was sitting in the sun and looking much better. Hey, Wushal, are you well again? It's okay, just my two front paws are broken, and my tail is a bit bent about. It looks great. I mean, I can't crack nuts anymore. I have to come up with something for that. Wabu beamed. He was much better at coming up with something than Wushal. Wabu's grinning. He's up to something again. 
Shortly after that, one saw Wabu heading through the forest carrying a mysterious package. What's in there? Let me see. No way, poor Chop. This is a present for Wisher as an apology. Curiously, Charlie walked along behind Wabu. Here, Wisher. For me! I have packed books for you as you can't do it yourself at the moment. <laughs> another story, Wabu, please. No, now it's time for us all to go home. Tomorrow is another day. <laughs> 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 <laughs>